COSA, the Central Ontario Standard Bread Association, proudly serving Ontario horse people with integrity and accountability. Collaborative, supportive, helping to ensure a vibrant harness racing industry, lifetime membership is free and there are many benefits. Become a new member today. COSA, representing the interests of horse people racing at Ontario racetracks. To find out more, visit COSAonline.com. Welcome back to the Raceway at Western Fair District, London, Ontario, for some half-mile harness racing action. The Forest City of Ontario right here. Uh, we got uh, the first card of 2021. Uh, out of the way last night, uh, strong play at the Mutuals. Uh, close to 540000 wagered on the 11 race card. Some real nice tickets. How about those high fives last night? Early high five, 20 cent return over $6,000. Final race high five, 20 center over five grand and uh yeah that's how things went down here last night uh, louis philippe was in for a driving double doug mcnair uh in for a couple of wins as well uh louis back with us tonight mcnair is not uh we've got 12 races on tap uh, expecting fast and dry conditions uh, again this evening in london uh, just to let you know, things will change up a bit f as far as uh, post times go for the Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday cards. Uh, we're going to start racing at 5.50. That uh, replaces the 6.15 start time going forward until the end of this race meet, I would assume. So Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, 5.50 Eastern. Uh, Friday evenings, 4.50 Eastern start earlier by an hour on Fridays. And starting this Friday, we're gonna bump up the guarantees on the pick four and pick five pools. The guarantee pools now featured at $7,500, four days per week on the pick fives and pick four plays here at the Raceway. Again, that's gonna be starting this Friday evening and going to the end of the race meet, I would assume again on that, again, $7,500 guaranteed pools all four days of the week on both our pick five and uh, pick four go-to wagers. So with that out of the way, we uh, got the 12 races on tap, all 12, of course, on HBI Bet. And uh, let's go and take a look at the first race pick five sponsored by HBI Bet. So here we go. It's a little tough to crack the code on this early pick five, I'm thinking. So that's why it's uh, costing a $33.60, 20 cent play. On the trot for the opener, gonna go with the four, five, and six. Those are the three. One of them's gotta get there, I'm sure. Alrighty, so it's the all button in race number two. Um, scratch the seven from there. So it's a seven horse field, wide open. One of the more wide open races on the night. I do like the eight as my top selection, but uh, you know what, trailing spot. Could get tough for that one in there, you never know. So an all button for me in race two, hope for some value. Uh, using the two and seven in both races three and four and over into the fifth race to complete. Uh, gonna go with the five, Jackson K down, and seven, 88 fingers, Louie. A significant class drop for that one. And uh, outside chance there at the added distance of a mile and a 16 for that high five. Again, the high five is paying huge here last night. As mentioned, $33.60 and a 20 cent play for that pick five. If you can hit it, you should get paid. Early pick four, starting up in the fourth race. Won't cost as much to play along with this uh, selection. Uh, SK Realty, pick four play, beginning in the fourth race, using the two bankroll and seven sunshine Lou to start things up. Five, seven in the fifth. Went deepest of all in race number six. On the trot for that, one, two, four, five, and seven. And to close out, we'll look for the two Oxford Hall or three Rose Run Uncle Buck, both coming in from Woodbine Mohawk Park. You've got 
Ed Hensley with the two. Travis Henry driving number three, Rose Run, Uncle Buck. 20 cent, pick four, early pick four. $8 even to play along. Then we go on over to race number six, start off. Tonight's late pick five play. Let's get a look at this. <laughs> I was going to try to map out an expensive ticket once again, but uh, still in for $21.60. But uh, if you would have seen uh, what I had earlier, <laughs> yeah, it was getting way up there in the price. So I had to cut her back in a few spots. I wanted to go deeper here in race six. I wanted to go deeper in uh, race number nine even. So, but uh, yeah, I cut it back. Uh, three deep here in the opening leg, on to the two and three in race number seven. Over to race number eight, Bathus Phelps, Acrobat Hanover, or Quinn's Frisky Whiskey. Two, six, seven in the ninth, and we'll look to close out with either Rusty's Flying, the 13-year-old mare, will try for win, career win, number 107. And then uh, another play to look at, number five, Camco Willow has had a couple of starts over Flamborough since coming up from the Maritimes. The latest start there over Flamborough was pretty good, uh, showing 58 speed and a decent back half coming from off the pace. Anthony Hahn on board Camco Willow. One to think about there in race number 10 to complete a late pick five. We're in for $21.60. Let's just get a look at a late pick four then. Late pick four. Right on, opening leg, two, three, five. There's that deep, five deep, two, three, six, seven, eight in race number nine. Stay with the three and five, the tenth, and to close out, let's go with raise you 20 in the rail. Just rock him, come from away, or the outside chance for a long shot at number seven, one man army. There, I'm in for $24 even on a 20 cent play. My best long shot selection in the program. Yeah, race 11. I like the chances for that uh, seven one-man army. I believe I got a pick for second in my selections. Uh, I like him to grab a big share. Uh, 12 to 1 in the morning line, outside post to overcome, but he does move in a spot. Scratch the six Irish Prince from race number 11. Any kind of trip at all will put him right in the hunt there for Steve Hudon. Uh, one-man army, 12 to 1 shot. Outside post there in race 11 for my long shot play of the night. Let's get a look at some best bets now. Best bets boards, courtesy of the guest cappers. We've got Lou, Tony, and Ontario Racing on board again tonight. Best bets then. Let's get a look at them. For me, my best bet, second race, the eight horse, DG, shall we dance? Strong connections here. Uh, the horse racing here last night. Late in the card, went first up forever. And uh, paced a huge back half for the victory. Joe Pereira was training, Austin Sorry was driving. And here they're going to team up with DG's Shall We Dance. Race two for that trending spot eight. Strong connections down in class today, two to one. If you can get anything close to two to one, hop on board. Ontario Racing, they went to the two bankroll. In race number four, I believe Michael Carter. As I looked after the selections for Ontario Racing today, uh, and bankroll, as good as any in there in the fourth, likes to race up close. More best bets. Let's go to Lou and Tony for later on, the back half of the card. Lou Sorella went to 10-4, we gone in race seven. Lou says toss out, that one's late as he's better than that the last line, of course, where he uh, made a rear break in the early going. Reunites with the driver Mark St. Louis. Tony Elliott goes to the mayor that loves to show up in the winner's circle 106 times in her career. Should be a player tonight, says Tony on three. Rusty's flying his best bet in race number 10. That's going to wrap things up at the pregame show. Again, 12 races tonight as we get set to start at 6.15. Our final 6.15 start on this race meet, as mentioned. Uh, the Raceway altering our Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday post time now to go at 5.50 beginning next Monday. And Fridays, we're going to carry on the 4.50 early start time. I sure hope you can keep on joining us as we go four days per week now until the end of May, hopefully. All right. So best of luck to all playing and racing here in London tonight. Uh, program changes will be coming up very soon. Fast and dry conditions. Have fun, make some money.